Hey guys, welcome back to um, our YouTube channel. Sorry, there's a random ruler. But today we, well, I have made this little guy. It's a clownfish. And if you watched part one, we have made the body so far. And today I'm going to be teaching how to make the fins and turn it into a proper clownfish. So if you didn't watch um, part one, um, go ahead and watch it now. The link will be in the description box below. But in this video, um, we are I'm going to teach you how to make the fin parts of it. The, this fin, the tail, and these two fins. And also attach them. So let's get started. I'm just gonna move him to the side. Sorry if it's like upside down or anything. I had some problems getting it, like the camera in the right place. I'm pretty sure this is good, but I don't know. So um, let me know if you have any tips um, in the description box below. I do plan to be doing more Lumigurumi videos. This is just one of my first. Well, actually it isn't one of them, it is. So in this um, video, last time we used some white, but we do not need white anymore. Also, by the way, Sorry that it like just randomly stopped. Um, my camera ran out of storage because we have a lot of videos on it. So I am very sorry about that. Um, but yeah. So um, you're going to be needing orange and black bands today. Also don't forget your crochet or rainbow loom hook. I prefer the metal tips just because it's easier for me to use. You do not need stuffing today, but you do need, I use like this colored C-clip to mark my stitches. You would know that if you watch my other video. And some normal clear C-clips, which um, come in, you can buy them actually separately from the bands, but you do get, um, I'm pretty sure 25 of these guys with a package of bands. You could, of course, use these to um, mark your stitches, but I just find that they sometimes, well, I just got these and I thought, well, that would make it so much easier to mark my stitches because I can see it better rather than using these clears. So I do use the clear ones to um, attach the, the, my, my, let's say body parts to my main body. Um, I have not yet seen other YouTubers do this, but, um, I do find that it makes it easier because it helps the bands that you use to attach them stay in. If you don't get what I'm saying, I'm sorry, but, um, anyways... Let us start with the cadwall fin. So this is the tail. Um, I'm just, like I said in the first video, I am just reading this off of a pattern that I have next to me. So it is not my own original design, but technically it is because I'm converting this from crocheting into lumigurumi. But anyways, I cannot have full credit. <laughs> So we're starting with the black, um, with black here. I'm gonna move it so you can see my hands. So we're starting with black bands. So we're going to chain four. So you're going to take your first band wrapped around your hook. So you have two loops on your hook. Oh gosh, I'm doing a really bad job. Um, so you have it like that, like a figure eight almost. Now you're going to take a single band and you're going to pull it through this cap band. So that is a chain of two. If you do not get what I'm doing, like I said in the first um, video, but, um, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> uh, Olympus de Loomer has um, a similar thing happening with his Among Us um, design from Rainbow Loom, so go ahead and check him out because it might make it easier for you to understand what I'm doing. Um, if it doesn't, 
then you can just, there's probably some other loomer out there who does this, but I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense. So you're going to chain four, so you have the calf band at the end, then you have one band, two band, three band. So that's four bands that you have used in total. So now you're going to make a slip knot using that band that is on your hook, which is also the fourth band. So now you're going to, um, now we're going to start our first row. So you're going to turn around and in this band that you did the slip knot on, you're going to go through it. And you're going to do a, um, a single crochet. If you don't know how to single crochet, you can either check out my last video, which um, tells you somewhat how to do it, or you can check out one of the Lumigurumi Basics tutorials out there on YouTube, which will explain it in much greater detail. Or you could just search up how to do a single crochet using in Lumigurumi or using Rainbow Loom Bands, whatever you feel like it. So we, we have done three single crochets. So you should have the band that's on your hook is one, then two, three, and four. And it should be looking like this. Um, sorry, this is the, the, the most confusing part of the entire tutorial. Okay, so, um, I really need to work on this, but, so you're going to actually undo that last single crochet, and you're going to take it apart. Sorry, I forgot about this. You're going to go on through the cat band, grab a band, and pull it through everything on your hook, and then just reclaim. But you're not going to do a slip knot. Instead, you're going to take an orange band and you're going to put it on your hook, pull it through those two loops, and then you're going to do a slip knot with the orange band. Now you're going to go into not that stitch, the one next to it. So here, as you can see, so there's the orange band and then right next to the orange band, there's that band. Oh gosh, you really can't see, but that one, you're not going in through that one, you're going in through the one next to it. So now you're going to do a single crochet. So again, if this doesn't make sense, you can go to the pattern in the description, um, which is the pattern that I'm using now, and maybe that'll help you, I don't know, but yeah. Um, and then you're going to do another single crochet in all of the stitches. But at the last stitch, you're going to go through it, but now instead of doing an actual stitch, you're going to take the band and pull it through everything, but once again, do not do a slip knot. So this is what you should have so far. You have the original row, you have one black row and one orange row. So now you're going to take another orange band. Sorry, my bands are sort of like, I don't know, old. So they're sort of crinkly, but, and then you're going to do a slip knot with that band you pulled through those two loops. Now you're going to turn and do sing, two single crochets in the next two stitches. Now you have one loop left. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through it and you're going to take a band and pull it through everything like we have been doing, but do not slip knot it. Again, um, sorry if you hear background noises. So you're going to do, you're going to pull a band through that. And this time do do a slip knot. Now you're going to turn and do one single crochet, just one. And then you're going to do a decrease. So if you do not know how to decrease, um, you can watch, again, um, one of those beginner 
tutorials, um, beginner for Lumigurumi tutorials. Oh gosh, why is the light like that? Sorry, um, if it's been like that for a while, but, um, I just noticed. <laughs> so, you're going to go to one of them, and, um, I will try my best to explain how I do a decrease. If you know a different way of doing a decrease, that's fine as long as you decrease. So, I grab in the, the next stitch over the loop that is closest to me, and then in the, the chain next to it, um, you're going to go in the one that is farthest away from you. I'm, I learned this stitch from all of the, uh, I'm pretty sure creativity is life, I don't know. But you should have this fin looking thing now. And you just did a single crochet. So now you're going to go into a band near where you just did that single crochet. And you're going to take a band, pull it through everything, and do a slip knot. So that is your tail. So now you're going to put that off to the side. I'm just going to put them over here by my, my body and my um, other fish. And now um, we are going to do this fin. So yes, I did do one off camera, but this is the side fin, so these two. So I'm going to show you how to make one. Then you will, they're called the pelvic fins. I'm, I'm just gonna call them fins. But um, you make two of them identically. And it says here that um, you can make one of them smaller, but um, I don't right, I don't quite know how to do that and I don't know why I would do that anyway, so I'm just going to do it the way that I know how to do it. So if you know how to make it smaller and stuff, then you can go ahead and do that. I'm pretty sure that on some on clownfish, like one of them is smaller, but I don't know. So we're just going to do this. I need like, there. Sorry if the light is bothering, it's, it's really bothering me the light, but I will fix that for my next video. But so, so you're going to chain three the same way that we chained for the tail. So you're going to make a cap band of two and then pull single bands through, but this time you're only, instead of having a chain of four, you're going to chain, have a chain of three. So once you have three, you're going to take that third one, which is on your hook, and do a slip knot. So now you're going to do two single crochets using these two bands that are here, well, really one stitch and then the cap band is there. So you're going to do a single crochet here. And another single crochet in that cap band. So it should look like this. It's very small, but Oh great, I did it again. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the, the tail, which is at the end, well the last stitch of each row you're going to do, you're not going to do a single crochet, you're going to pull that band through everything and leave, and then reclaim the other end so it should look like a chain almost. And now, you're changing to orange. So you're going to take an orange band, pull it through those two, and you're going to do a slip knot. So now you're going to go into, again, not that one that the slip knot is on, but the one next to it, and you're going to do a single, um, two single crochets in the next two stitches. Sorry I keep pausing, I keep just checking the pattern to make sure I'm doing it right. So again, um, really you're only doing one single crochet and then the last stitch, which is the second one, you're going to pull that band through everything but do not do a slip knot. 
So now you're going to take a band and you're going to pull it through this again, like that, and you're going to do a slip knot. And now you're not even going to do any, oh gosh, I, my arm is like knocking the little C-clips off of the table. Oop. So now you're just, you're not going to do any single crochets, you're just going to do a decrease in the two remaining stitches. Um, I'm sorry if you don't get what I'm doing. I'm really trying to explain it the best I can. But it should look somewhat like this. Like thick at the end with the black and then it gets like really skinny. So again, you're going to go into the nearest band or like stitch and you're going to do a slip knot. Like that. And then put that off to the side. If you need to, you can go back in the video so you understand how to make the fin. Oops, that's not it. Yeah. These fins, you need two of them, like I said. You might have to do it more than two times just to get it right. Um, I actually did on this one three times because the first one turned out fine. And then the second one looked a little off. But, yeah, so you make two of them and the tail, and now I'm going to show you how to make the, the like, spine part. Uh, sorry, my pattern's on the papers and I'm like messing them up. So it's called the dorsal fin, which is this, this fin on the back. So we're going to start with orange this time. When I first made this one, I accidentally started with black and I didn't do very well on that. But you are starting with the orange. Um, it says yarn, so I keep thinking of saying yarn, but we're, we're not crocheting here. So we're going to chain six. So it's the exact same thing as what we've been doing, only it's six. Sorry if you hear background noises, my family is doing their things. One, two, three. Um, four. Five. Sorry, that was the door. And six. So now you have a chain of six. If you let go, it will get all like bunched up and stuff. So just hold it there. So now you're going to do a slip knot. With that orange band. So now we are not doing that um, chain thing that we were doing. Okay, so this is sort of complicated. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but we're doing one single crochet here in the next stitch, one single crochet. Then we are doing a single crochet in the next stitch. Then one decrease Sorry if you hear the geese honking in the background. We live in a um not in a pond, but out we have a pond in our backyard and they're really loud. <laughs> Because it's their time of year where they have their eggs. So yeah. They are constantly honking. So then you're just going to do a single crochet in that last stitch. And you should have one, two, three, four stitches. 
but yeah. So now we are going to, oh, sorry. For the end of this row, we are actually doing the, the thing that we did for the other two. So pull that last band through everything, but don't do a slip knot. So now we are changing to our black. So we're going to do a slip knot in that orange band. And now we are going to the band that is not the one that we just did the slip knot in. And we are doing um, a single crochet in every stitch. This isn't the easiest part because we're not quite working in rounds like um, we usually do. We are working, I'm pretty sure it's the chain method, but yeah. So I just finished, so now you're going to go into a band. I'm using these two stitch, these two like parts of the slip knot. You can use whatever you find and you're going to do a slip knot. So yes, it does look a little off here. <laughs> um, that's what it looks like, but once we attach it, it will look better, I, I promise. So now we can start attaching. So you will need, I'm pretty sure two black bands, but mostly just oranges. So this is your time to get out your orange bands and your C-clips. So I actually never ended up using this, I'm sorry. You don't really need it, but if you wanted to, you could have used it just to like keep your stitches under control and stuff. I'm going to quickly pick up some of these C-clips I dropped on the floor. If you can hear me, I'm not, um, I'm sorry. If you can't hear me, okay, so I just picked up my C-clips that I dropped. So yes, I have a lot but more is always better. So now we're going to take the body and we are going to attach the tail first. So take out your tail. So what you're going to do is you're going to find where you want it. Basically just find which way you want your body to face whether it's like that way or that way, whatever way you like. I think I like this way. Doesn't really matter, just whatever your preference is. So I like it this way. And now we're going to take our tail and we're going to put it there like where we want it. We're going to go into a stitch and we're going to go, so you see like the little triangles here? You're going to go through the stitch and then go through the triangle that lined up with it and you're going to take an orange band, pull it through everything and do a slip knot. So if you have a better way of attaching, you can do it that way. I just personally like this way because it's how I like to do it. So you're going to do the same thing with the other two of the stitches. You don't even really have to go through one of the stitches. You can just go through a band that is on the tail. It's entirely up to you. So mine does tend to flop towards um, on the side, so I'm just gonna pull it that way a little. Um, maybe I'll just go through a stitch on this side and take a band on it, pull it over just to even it out. If you don't care what I'm doing, that's fine. Just keep making slip knots until it is secure and it is in the right spot where you like it. You can always take off the slip knots and redo it. So now you have like this very mangly tail that is attached. 
Um, yeah, it's not as, it's actually not as floppy as his because I added more, but it's fine. So now this is where your, your C-clips come in handy. So normal people would go into a random stitch here and push their hook, well, not normal people, but most people, and then grab the, the band. So I still do that, but once they pull it out, they're going to just let go. I don't like doing that because then if you pull enough on the tail, the band will pop out. So I, what I do is I pull it up a little, make sure you don't um, stretch it too much so you snap your band. And you're going to take a C-clip and you're going to put it on the band and then shove it back into the body. This, the C-clip just sort of blocks it so even if you pull hard enough, it will, the band will not come back out. So you're just going to do that with all of them. And then after you push in the C-clip, sometimes it, it tends to get a little misshapen. So you can just sort of push the body until it gets back its shape. Like here, you're just gonna shove it in and it's a little like, you just push it a little. Sorry if this is confusing for you. I'm trying to make it as, well, not confusing as I can. But like I said, this is my first time doing this. So I'm trying my best. But you're just going to keep doing this until all of your slip knot bands are in. So you don't necessarily need to use orange for this. It just, in my opinion, helps it like hide better. If you get what if you get what I mean, but if you don't have enough orange or you just don't want to waste them or something, or actually whatever color you you used your body color you used for your body color, that's fine. You can just use a different one. I just like using this because it doesn't leave as much of a sign. Okay, so you're just gonna keep doing this. Until all of your bands are in. So I'm pretty sure my all of mine are in. So there's your tail. I just like doing this for fun, but yeah. So now we're going to attach um, our fins, so these two. So you're going to go into this white stripe here and you're going to decide where you want it. I'd say probably around where the eye is, that's where the middle of it should go, but really it's whatever you think. So now you're going to take your fin and you're going to go into that middle stitch or really whichever stitch you want to be in the middle and you're going to pull an orange band through. Orange because you could do white, but I just find that the orange is better. Like that. So now you're going to go into um, the stitch next to it, and you're going to go into that other stitch on the fin and you're going to do another slip knot. So again, just keep slip knotting until it's as secure as you want it and in the right place. I am just going to do three. I might do more after the video is over. Just to make sure um, that it's secure and I don't want to like waste time. Keep. So I just did three slip knots here. You can do more or less depending on how you like it. But that's how many I did. So now you're going to do the use the same process as you did with the other one and pull hide all of your slip knots, including the one that you used to tie off your fin.
have been doing this for a very long time, ever since I actually started Lumigurumi. When I made, um, actually, well, it wasn't the first time, but when I made, it was the first, oh, I remember. It was the first time I used my safety eyes, so it was a big moment for me because I was using beads since before then. But I, it was actually Creativity is Life's Dinosaur. Um, that's when I first started using the C-clip technique. So I have attached one fin. For the sake of time, I will not attach the next fin just because I need to show you how to attach this fin. So this is definitely the hardest one. So you're just going to decide where you want it. If you want, you can put the seat, the one, the side with the, the band that you use to tie it off in front. I think that is what I'm gonna do because that's what I did here. But you're going to go into a stitch and then you're going to go into the stitch that you want to use to start it. It should be somewhere in the middle. And you're going to do a slip knot. Um, my, my mom and Leah are baking right now, so they're talking about zucchini bread, so sorry about that. But... So now you're going to go into the next stitch um, down and you're going to go into the next stitch on the, your body. And for me, that is just starting the white section. So we're going to go through and do a slip knot. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way down. I know it might not look the best yet, but it will look better, I promise. Again, if you don't like it, you can always like take it off and do it again. But I just, I'm just gonna do it one time. If I don't like it after the video, I will do it again. But yeah, I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. You definitely don't have to go as fast as I'm doing. I've just done this before because I made the, the other guy, so. Mine um, started in the row before the first stripe of white and it ended on the first, on the second stripe of white. Um, just to give you a placement, that's the same thing I did on this one. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this black band. I actually changed it to be orange here. So that's what I'm going to do now. You can keep it black if you want to. I just find that when you put this into the body, it looks better if you use an orange band just because you're putting it into the body. But I just go into a stitch in the front of it and just use that band to tie it in to make it look more of like the ridge part. But Anyway, there is your fish. So you can hide in the bands. So like using that C, if you don't like the C clip method, like if it isn't working for you, if you just don't like it, you don't have to do it. Um, I just prefer to do it because it means that the bands stay in. If you pull, like if you really want to get it out still, it, it is possible. But, like, if you're going to take this apart after you make it, which I don't really like doing that, unless I really, like, don't like what I'm making, um, then you probably won't want to add these C-clips in, because it just makes it harder to take the, the fins off. But, um, just hide all of them. So, like I said, you can um, attach the second fin just for the sake of time. I am not going to. I'm actually surprised that it, it 
this video is actually over an hour. I mean, not an hour. 30 minutes now. You can think that it would be that long, but it, it is. So, um, I really tried to go into detail on this. So, I'm not going to do that last band, but here. I'm going to just quickly attach this so you guys can get a picture of what it would look like when it's done. Like that, and then do another slip knot next to it. In here. So again, I'm just doing this to show you guys what it would look like if it was done. So, here it is. This one definitely isn't as good as my first one, just because I went a little faster. But anyways, there there is your little, your little um, friend that is a clownfish. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a comment um, to give me tips on how to do this because I am not really professional. <laughs> Um, I'm making videos while I'm looming, but I hope that you guys made a wonderful looking clownfish, and I unfortunately do not have like Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, so if you would like, if you have a YouTube channel, if you made this, just um, make a video showing your creation and um, hashtag it, um, let's say, hashtag Aaron's clownfish <laughs> and I will see it um, make sure to comment on my channel like the link to the video and I will make sure to comment there and tell you how good of a job you did and what I like about it and if you have any questions just leave them down below I will try my very best to answer them I will be putting a band count in the description along with the entire written pattern and the link to the pattern I use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, we really need it. <laughs>